Hello lovers, in this video I'm going to be taking you through my predictions for OCR Gateway Biology Paper 1 on predictions for 2023. Now, my brilliant biology teacher Dr Edwards and I, we've worked on these together, so we're going to be taking you through them and then once you finish this you can jump down to the description and look at the playlist where Dr Edwards walks you through the paper that we have written for this year, taking you through how to structure your answers, how to look at the command words, looking for any clues the examiners have left you in the question. So these are just our predictions. We are not affiliated with any exam board. We have not seen any exam paper. So please revise absolutely everything. But if you are a little bit stuck on where to start with your revision, then this is the suggested list that we have on where to start your revision. I'm going to go over the topics for compliance science and then I'm going to go over the topics for separate science. So if you're doing separate science, you can now jump to that section. So if you combine science, gateway paper one, these are the topics that we suggest you start your revision with. So microscopy and cells, including the practical activities for this. So looking at how it works, looking at all differences, this is a really nice topic and it's a generally, it's a generally nice introduction to start off a paper with. So this is an area we would like you to focus your revision on. We would like you to look at hormones, especially hormones involved in the menstrual cycle. So looking at what goes up when, what interacts with what, what it comes from where and interacts where and how does it travel there. So there are lots of hormones and please in the exam use the full names of things. Don't use the short names of things because sometimes your handwriting might get a little bit confused and the examiner might not 100% understand what you mean. So try and use the full names of things. If you can't spell things that's absolutely fine as long as the examiner can recognise the words that you actually mean. Now linking in to menstrual cycle hormones, we'd like you to look at contraception. Now there are lots and lots of things we can talk about with contraception, but one of the things that we really really fancy is the differences between barrier and non-barrier and the advantages around that. Again, linking into this big topic, we'd like you to look at IVF. So how does it actually work? What are all the different stages involved in it? And then there could be a big societal, ethical, moral question around this. So looking at all of the issues that aren't related to do with science, but are linked to the science. We would like you to look at the nervous system and responses, including the practical activity for this. So. We want to go right from the beginning, right to the end. So the receptors, the effectors, and everything involved with this as well. All the responses that are involved, the ones that you know, the ones you've come across in class. And then this could be linked to something with a wider context, putting things into a new situation. It could also be data interpretation or looking at some nice graph. We would like you to look at cells, but specifically we'd like you to look at stem cells. So there are lots of different types of stem cells, like where they come from, the advantages and disadvantages of using different types of stem cells to do different things, and then what the stem cells can actually go on and do. There are two things left we'd like you to look at. The penultimate one is control of blood glucose. Now this is quite a large topic, so this could end up being quite a big question. Again, there could be a nice graph, a nice data interpretation one with this. So again, there are hormones involved, and there are also diseases involved in this. And then the last thing we would like you to look at is osmosis. So movement of water around. Now this could link into a practical, or this could link into plants. So this could link to animal cells, or it could link to plant cells. So if you are doing separate science, and these are predictions for OCR Gateway Separate Science Bio G Paper 1. And don't forget the walkthrough video for the predicted paper that you've written is linked in the description down below. Now to start you off with your revision, this is the list of things that we suggest you start with and number one on that list is microscopy and the practical activity group that is linked into that and around that everything to do with cells so can you look down the microscope identify and label a cell and do all of the mathematical calculations associated with that as well another practical activity we would like you to look at is the one around nervous system and responses so there are lots and lots of things they could ask you here when we're looking at the science questions it's how we go from an effector to a response and then if we 
were looking at the practical activity group, all the changes that you could make within that. Transport within cells, so not only within animal cells, but within plant cells as well. Specifically active transport is the one that we like for this year but you should look at all methods of transport within cells. Photosynthesis is a great topic for a question, and yet again, there is another practical activity group involved in this. But what we want you to think about with this is not only the, the method of photosynthesis, the equation of photosynthesis, the factors that can affect photosynthesis, but when we're looking at the practical, things we could change, things we could, different things we can investigate when we are doing this practical. We would like you to look at stem cells. Now, with this could be stem cells used within medicine because there's quite a lot of potential controversies or a big ethical question around that or it could be going right back to the, the basics of stem cells and how they can differentiate into different things. We would like you to look at blood glucose control. Now this is quite a big topic involving hormones and negative feedback so there could be quite a lot they could ask you on this. This again could be a data interpretation question so looking at control of blood glucose after eating or looking at the diseases involved in the control of blood glucose. The last two things are both to do with plants, so we would like to look at transpiration and plant adaptations. Now there are lots and lots of things that could be asked around this. Transpiration could be linked into transport within cells or it could be linked back into the photosynthesis practical. Adaptations again could be linked into photosynthesis practical or it could be linked into cells and microscopy. There are lots of different links across this topic. So once you've made notes on this, what I would like you to do is jump down to the description and then go and watch our video walkthroughs for the papers that we've written for this year. Good luck guys, I, Dr Edwards, we're going to be here with you every single step of the way. And don't forget, we haven't done any biology, we've done any chemistry, we've done any physics, we've done any maths. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.